Hey guys, it's Renzi Gaming Kit, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, we're going to be talking about the next few title updates in Minecraft. Title update 30, 31, and 32 type thing is what we're sort of predicted for this big update. Now, as you may or may not know, the guys over at 4J Studios have been working for a long time to try and get this new update out, which was kind of the one that changed the world of Minecraft entirely, really. Um, it, it was a pretty huge update. Um, and people have been waiting for a long time for it. obviously the last few have been bug fix updates and probably the next one or two to come will be but they do keep adding various things for example this next update is based most off of 1.8 now the good thing about 1.8 is it there's one or two things that have already been added that aren't really a big deal like iron trap doors and stuff like that um, but th there's so many blocks that are so useful that haven't been added so I'm gonna go through in this video a Thing, few things that will be added in this next major update and um, putting to bed some of the rumours that have been said by some of the big YouTubers. So the first thing I want to cover is there is no evidence, no proof or no support. They are working on mods. There's absolutely no chance at the moment. It, it probably will happen but servers will come out before mods. Um, servers they have said they are working on uh, which is some pretty exciting news. I mean there won't be more than I'd say 16 people between 10 and 16 people on a server at once but it'll work sort of like Minecraft Realms, and I might do a separate video on that in the future. But that was rumour one that I wanted to get out of the way, and obviously mods rumour two that I also wanted to clear up. Um, once this big update's out, then there's going to be a big pressure on the servers, but mods are going to come in the future because they would sell them for money, and it would just be like uh, an, a DLC for the game that you can buy, which adds new things to it. So I'm not. It'd be quite hard to put into the game working. Obviously, like to be able to put it in with people that you don't don't have the mods. Um, so, so don't get your hopes up. I know big YouTubers telling you probably like, oh, you know, this is going to be coming out soon, and it, it's it's not. I mean, I see so many big YouTubers clickbaiting you all. Uh, it's happened to me before. I've been clickbaited by them trying to get. It, it, it's just no. None of them are going to be happening. So now I'm going to get into what's being added in the next big update so obviously now we know that it's not servers or anything like that um some of the big blocks there's the diorite andesite and granite which is isn't really that useful but it, it, it's all right coarse dirt is getting added um all the underwater stuff there's underwater like mini strongholds as well with guardians which are a mob um prismarine blocks Prismarine bricks, dark prismarine, red sandstone, iron trap doors we already have, um, which were added in 1.8, so they are adding one or two things already. Um, sea lanterns and wet sponge, which finally gives sponge a purpose, because let's be honest, nobody cares about sponge. Some slime blocks, which are huge for people like me who make parkour maps, adventure maps, obviously having a build team, things like that are huge to maps. Banners as well, a huge thing for me. Um, they're like, they're sort of like signs, but they're two blocks worth and it's like having a painting that you can custom make but I don't know if they'll add that or if it will it'll probably be like a painting where the selected barriers because they can't make it so you can have whatever banner you want um, barrier blocks which I'm not sure if we will get or not it's basically it's like bedrock but invisible uh, it's a creative only sort of thing and it, 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 it's quite a weird thing it's good for map creators because you can just have like a, an invisible wall around the edge of your map so you don't have to use glass and it doesn't look all funny um so that is pretty useful also the different variations of fences fence gates and doors we've also already had um which is pretty huge prismian crystals we're gonna go to items now by the way uh which get dropped from guardians and can be used to make sea lanterns Prismarine Shards, which also dropped from them. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what you can do with them. Raw Mutton, which actually gives sheep a bit more of purpose. Rabbits also get added to the game in this, and there's loads of stuff you can do with rabbits. You can make potions of leaping um, with rabbits' foot, I'm pretty sure. Might got that wrong. The Endermite Mob, I think, got added, but don't quote me on that because it might not have. Um, which is. It, it sometimes spawns when you or. I think an Enderman teleport using an ender pearl but it will just despawn unless you use a name tag and it's sort of like a silverfish type thing um elder guardians think are also a thing then it's like a mod they're a mod or they're a completely different thing um and then we're gonna get onto one other big thing which is armor stands now armor stands are pretty sick again for map creators uh, you can make some cool like auto armor display stands and stuff with it and it, it's really useful but there's also one other thing that i wanted to mention that i don't think anyone else will have mentioned that could be 
added to this, and that is the possibility of specific villager tradings, which I know won't be a big deal, some of you, um, enchanting, which will, will now require lapis, and the final thing that uh, I don't really think anyone's mentioned is spectator mode actually got added, but that was a slash command, so I don't know if we will get that, but uh, spectator mode super sick, so you like, when somebody dies, you can make it so they go straight into you know, spectator mode, oh, can I go watch it, can I go watch how it ends, uh, instead of me having to give them all the game mode things, they can turn themselves into creative and blah, 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 I can turn them into a spectator mode, where we now, can't do anything else, we've got to stay in spectator mode, and that's that. There's a couple of other notable things, but nothing really too important, a couple of particle changes and stuff like that, nothing really, really big, I mean, there's one or two village mechanics and stuff, there's literally, it's just, it was a very big world update, um, one thing I somehow actually have missed out as well is the, the clay biomes, where the whole biome was made out of clay. Uh, this was added sort of in between 1.8 and 1.7, so this should definitely be in if they're going to add 1.8. Uh, this is something not that major, but it, 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 it does sort of change a lot of the survival mechanics, and it's quite a big one again for the map creators, but also for you guys who don't create maps and just place all the maps that people like me make. So, yeah, I think that's about it. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I know it's a bit different to what I normally do. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.